Now we have the um, camera all put together. We've, um, yeah, I've mounted the lens and uh, temporarily attached the bellows to the standard double-sided tape. Uh, so it's pretty much finished. So here's the standard mounted in its full final state. And yeah, this is now time to do the infinity check. So to do that, we first we'll first mount everything together. And but before actually we do that, you want to make sure it closes. Um, so fold it up. And yeah, make sure it closes. But yeah, when you get to the infinity check, uh, make sure that the focus rail is all the way back because that's the infinity check uh, kind of end. And the pointer in the bed should be pointing at in. So once that's done, you want to mount to a tripod or place somewhere steady. And um, you want to aim at something which is far away, so maybe <laughs> a few hundred meters away, uh, some mountains or something, a radio tower. That's good. I've got a, there seems to be a balloon floating around uh, over there somewhere. It's still there. Um, so I'm going to use that as my infinity target because it's uh, a nice shape to recognize and sharp. Uh, to check infinity, you need a ground glass. Uh, you can make ground glass by grabbing just a plane of glass and grinding it. Or um, I'm making a temporary ground glass, as it were. This is just a piece of um, card, two and a half millimeter thick, uh, kind of matte poured card. I cut to the dimension so that it will fit in the film gate area. And <coughs> yeah, I, I cut a hole in the middle. Um, <coughs> this is pretty hard to cut because it's quite thick. So um, I got a drill, drill the hole in, and I got a a coping saw, fret saw, whatever you want to call them, and I cut around with a saw. That's why it's all kind of jagged. Uh, once the hole is cut, then I put some glue around here, and I stuck a piece of tracing paper on the back, and made sure that it was tight and taut, so it was flat. And that's my ground glass. And that will sit in here, and you'll be able to see a kind of an image projected on there. Now, you probably find that if you put the ground, or if you change your lens, you'll find that when you put the ground glass up against the actual film, um, kind of this area here, it's going to be out of focus when it's at infinity. So, um, to fix that, we need to um, kind of put a spacer between the ground glass and the camera, so that it spaces it uh, at the right distance for infinity. And to do that, I've got some wood strips here. These are five millimeters thick each. I've got a whole bunch of them. And these are actually what I'm going to be making my spacer out of. So I'll just kind of stack these up in here and get some double-sided tape to temporarily hold them in. And I'll just find out how much I need to make the infinity come into sharp focus. And you can use wood strips, paper, card, anything, as long as um, you can remove it later and measure it so that you can find out uh, or calculate how much spacer thickness that you need for your particular lens. This is actually different for every lens because even if you get two 135 um, millimeter lenses from different manufacturers, they will have different specifications for the, um, the back focal length, the back focal distance. And so you have to do this um, if you change your lens. Um, I actually also found when I was checking with the original lens, it didn't seem to actually focus right spot on with the, um, the film lane. So I think even the original lens is actually off, or maybe mine was just a bad sample. But, so it's a good idea to do this. Okay, so um, now I've actually finished um, doing the infinity spacing. And for this particular lens, actually, I found it's perfectly four of these strips. So. It's roughly 20 millimeters. I'm not sure exactly because I haven't measured with a micrometer, not micrometer, uh, calipers. So I can't be sure, but it's roughly 20 millimeters. You can see the strips I've uh, 
double-sided tape here, these two here, and you can see the lens is opened. It's um, opened with the, the uh, you know, the large format focusing lever thing. But um, yeah, and this is my ground glass. <laughs> and you can see here it's projected at infinity. And I'll, hang on, I'll get, now I've got a, I just put my card in over the, over the uh, camera act as a kind of dark cloth. But you can see now it's, um, yeah, projected. And my balloon was actually somewhere, you probably just about make it out. It's kind of there, it's a little tiny kind of balloon. But uh, yeah, that's my infinity marker. That's probably about at least 100 meters away. Probably two, but yeah. I used the loop and um, made sure that that was in good focus, my loop. You probably can't even see. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's done now. Um, try if you can to get a loop or some sort of magnification because I actually find that, well, if you're kind of really picky about this, then you can kind of magnify it and see. But uh, it should be good enough now. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to uh, actually calculate the thickness that you need for your final spacer now.